the community's history, textile manufacturing was key to early commerce, with some of the more than 100-year-old buildings still standing today. Joe Kelly shows us more in this week's Hidden History. When talking about the origins of any community, the subject of early commerce needs to be discussed. Manufacturing, of course, is a staple of commerce, and in the early days of our community, most of that manufacturing was in textiles. Some of those old mills are still standing and in use today. One major factor for the development of the mills in our area was the availability of water to provide steam to run the machinery. The first large textile operation was the Utica Steam Woolen Mill in West Utica. Organized in 1846, the building was built on Columbia Street along Nail Creek, which was openly flowing in the area at that time. By the way, Nail Creek still flows, but long ago it was channeled underground. Anyway, the mill's president, Andrew Pond, was a local pioneer in the use of steam propelling machinery, and in that area where the Matt Brewing Company Shipping and Receiving Department stands today was where 175 people were employed at Utica Steam Woolen Mill before it closed in 1877. Just a few blocks east of the Utica Steam Woolen Mill was the much larger Utica Steam Cotton Mill. The leadership of this business included several prominent names. Alfred Munson was president, and the board of trustees included S.D. Childs, Theodore Faxton, and Horatio Seymour. Their first mill building was built in 1848 at the corner of Port and State Streets. Twelve years later, the operation was expanded with a second building constructed just to the north near Columbia and State Streets. Both buildings were just off the Shenango Canal, and both buildings still stand today. At their peak, the Utica Steam Woolen Mills employed 700 people and produced 6 million yards of woolen goods every year. Also in 1848, the Utica Globe Woolen Company opened. Ownership was principally the same as the Utica Steam Cotton Mill. The location was on Court Street along Nail Creek. There was a large pond to the southeast of the structure behind the building. 400 people worked in the mill and produced fine cashmere that was sold exclusively in New York City. The name was changed changed to Utica Woolen Mills in 1855. Then, in September 1871, the mill was destroyed by fire. It was rebuilt two years later. The building still stands and is next to the finish line of the Utica Boilermaker Road Race. The pond has been filled in and is now a parking lot. Another of the early textile operations was the Oneida Knitting Mill. The original location for Oneida was on the southern bank of the Erie Canal on J Street, where the Route 5 S arterial is today. It started operation at that location in 1874 with 30 employees. The rapidly growing business moved to Broad Street at the end of Kasuth Ave and grew to over 1,000 employees. Much of the East Utica plant still stands, including the office building on which can still be seen the name Oneida on the facade above the front door. Another of the early mills was the Utica Steam Knitting Mill, which sprang up in downtown Utica in 1867. The Steam Knitting Mill, which was a smaller operation, was also adjacent to the Erie Canal, where the former Boston Store parking garage stands today. Those textile mills remained a vital part of the local economy into the middle of the 20th century. Produced with the cooperation of the United County History Center, I'm Joe Kelly, and this is Hidden History.